So a few months ago, I made a video about privacy and how it's important. And I'll link the video above, but it basically talks about how I had an invasion of my privacy online and how certain things got leaked and I didn't want them being known. Ever since then, everything's been smooth sailing, no major invasions of privacy, mainly because I've been more careful, I've concealed certain things about my life and I don't have them online anymore. But what I realized is no matter how much I conceal these things, sometimes people might just get access to them regardless. And I realized this because recently I found this video by a virtually vain called African Rebel Horrifies Gamers with Their Real Location. I'm just going to show you a clip of this video explaining what I'm talking about. What is your name, huh? My name is... <laughs> you are trying to make fun of me, huh? Where are you from, Dean? I'm from Los Angeles, buddy. You told me you are from Los Angeles, but you are not. Where am I from, then? It says here you are from Claremont. Yeah, I don't know about you, but that's pretty scary. To be fair, I think this video is very entertaining because this guy was being a total jerk to the voice impressionist here. And this got me thinking about something that happened to me a few years ago. You see, when I was in college, I was in a Discord call with a couple of people. Now, these people were in a public Discord server. I didn't know them. I had just met them a few days prior and, you know, I was casually talking with them and one of them sent me a video link to my DMs. So now I'm sure you know where this is going, but I clicked the link and... Little did I know this link contained an IP grabber. And this was of course a little concerning, I'm not gonna lie, because he straight up said, you're from X location, right? And of course I played it off because I was in a college dorm room with the potential of being any one of the 200 rooms between three different buildings. So safe to say, I didn't really care if this guy came to my dorm, good luck getting past campus security and whatnot. But I no longer live in a college dorm. I no longer have campus security to come to my aid if somebody shows up at my door, especially now that the channel has grown to 90,000 subscribers, I'm sure at least one of you would like to show up to my door like a weirdo. So this got me thinking about different ways that I could protect myself better online. And I stumbled upon a bunch of different things, such as creating strong passwords and making sure my firewall is enabled. But I also found out that VPNs seem to work pretty decently when it comes to people just straight up finding out your location. And as I was researching VPNs, I got an email from XVPN who asked me to review their VPN service. So I said, why not? I'm already looking for one anyway and they were nice enough to hook me up with a premium subscription for me to test it out all right so let's see if this bad boy works shall we so first we have to find a location so where should we go where should we go aha top of the morning to you laddies so now we are in ireland or at least that's where people think we are and now we can actually test this by going to the features tab and the security tools and see if my ip is going to be leaked all right so it says i'm in light sail ireland yep guys that's my ip you can go use it and uh, go find where i'm located but of course i'm just kidding i don't actually live in ireland so with xvpn my information is protected and since we're all gamers here Let's see if we can game lag free. So we're going to hop into some Hypixel Skywars for a bit. And let's put it to the test. Refresh the server and oh, Hypixel seems to be working. All right. Let's see how well we do in this fight. Let's see if I can get this guy real quick. Uh, okay, come on, come on. Oh, oh he's going to come kill me. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The superior ping wins, right? Superior ping. Wow, my ping actually remains really low. Normally my ping gets a lot worse when using other VPNs. But XVPN has a network of over 8,000 servers worldwide, which provides us gamers with fast and reliable connections. So if you would like to try out XVPN for yourself, use the link in the description and enjoy 50% off one year subscription to XVPN right now with a 30 day money back guarantee. Thank you XVPN for sponsoring this video. All right, let's not, uh oh. Okay, well, I guess I can't blame lag on my lack of skills in Skywars. Anyway, back to single player. Now VPNs are great and all, but that's not the only way you should be protecting yourself online. You need to be very careful when you're online. You have to be very careful about what you're doing because it seems to me these days that people try really hard to get themselves in trouble. Like my mom was telling me this story about this coworker of hers who gave his like bank information to this dude who claimed to be, I don't know, some sort of anti-hacking or virus person. Like basically trying to sell the, oh, your information is breached please provide us with all the information that was already breached so that we can help you and assist you. Um, and we will require payment in Google Play gift cards. I'm sorry, but if that doesn't sound sketchy as shit to you, then you are probably brain dead. I'm not going to lie to you. Now, of course, certain older generations won't get that. If you're 80 and this happens to you, you probably don't even know what the Google Play Store is. And this is a real fear of mine considering my grandfather has a smartphone now. And he is 87 years old, mind you. In fact, fun story about that, he got a smartphone because his other 
seeing your friends got smartphones and said, look how cool this is. You don't have one of those. Seriously. Seriously, that's the actual reason he got a smartphone. Because his friends had the smartphone and he needed to show off. It's actually the funniest thing I've ever heard in my life. So you can only imagine that I'm a little concerned that some uh, Google Play Store hacker is going to figure out how to get my grandfather's information. And stories like that are kind of head scratchers, but it gets worse these days. It's kind of impossible to avoid some version of data leaking in hackers because it happens all the time. I mean, how many times have you heard that some bank has gone their stuff leaked or some uh, event happened which caused people to lose so much information? It happens too often for you to not really be aware of it. So besides VPNs, what can you do, right? Well, the one thing that I see a lot of people avoiding these days is people don't really change their passwords. You know how people will like make passwords and then you'll get a prompt to change it every three months and then instead of, you know, making it different password, so your password is, you know, I like Minecraft 1. People will make that password, I like Minecraft 2, and then expect to be safe. Well, I hate to break it to you, but you're not safe at all. So, the way you do it is you make a new password, but you make it a completely different password. Better yet, you should use two-factor authentication on every type of important password, at least. I have two-factor on pretty much anything that is important that uses my credit card or money or anything of that matter. So if you want to buy Robux tomorrow, make sure that your Roblox account is protected by two-factor. Another friend of mine who used to work in like cybersecurity type stuff told me that make sure that you don't put your credit card in anything that doesn't have two-factor authentication because that's the only real way to stop people from getting into things by making it unlockable with two different devices. Now, I'm sure eventually there'll be something such as three-factor authentication because two-factor might become less secure, but until then, two-factor is pretty much your golden standard for not getting uh, your stuff yopped. And if you want more proof about this two-factor stuff working, I get emails all the time from my Microsoft accounts that people are trying to log into said account. But it doesn't matter because even if they have my password for that account, which is unique to my Microsoft accounts, they need to get through two-factor authentication. And it stops there because they need to confirm via text or certain code and emails and whatnot about this whole two-factor thing. And I'm curious, comment down below if you have any stories of people hacking into your stuff because I'm curious to see what everyone else is experiencing in terms of this. Another thing I love watching is like those, uh, when you see those interviews that podcasters do with hackers and they're like, oh yeah, by the way, I'm hacking your Wi-Fi as we speak. Like as I walked into the building, I'm hacking your Wi-Fi. Like that's how crazy shit has become when it comes to this stuff. So do yourself a favor. If you don't have two factor on everything you own, that's important. Do that. And also change your password to be unique for every single website. Unless it's stuff that you don't care about. Like, let's say, for example, that I don't really care about my, I don't know, Epic Games account because I don't buy games there. I've never put my credit card there. Then that's fine, you know? Just use a very easy password there that you don't have to bother about remembering. But you can always have something else remember it for you. You can always have, like, Google Authenticators instead of just having actual passwords you have to remember. Because guess what? If you can't even remember your own password, imagine the hacker trying to guess what that password is. In other news, if you're wondering what I'm doing in this cave is I'm looking for diamonds because I lost all my stuff last week or two weeks ago at this point in the advice giving live stream. So if you want to see how that went down, go to my Patreon linked in the description. I should consider going to the end pretty soon because we're getting to that point of not having that much more to do in this, uh, this game. But I do want fully enchanted items and stuff. So... I also have to kill Enderman for me to do that, so maybe a different video. Also, something else I just remembered, don't download third-party antiviruses. Like, if you're downloading Norton Antivirus, you're basically downloading a virus to your computer that makes your shit actually less safe. Windows Defender is perfect for this stuff right now. You don't have to download any third-party stuff, and it works just fine. Now, I know what you're thinking. Since when is Windows Defender any good? Trust me when I tell you, bro, in the past few years, they've made Windows Defender pretty good. Like, it's actually a forced to be reckoned with for once in its life because i remember the days of having to have you know what was i using back then kaspersky or whatever the hell yeah i don't i don't need that stuff anymore okay the only exception to this rule is that malware bytes is pretty good if you want to do like a scan or something of your computer because it's really good at finding stuff but overall you don't really need the third party antiviruses anymore let's go gamers in any case be smart with your internet usage don't go putting your credit card anywhere that it shouldn't be and especially online and, uh, yeah, thank you all so much for watching this video, and as always, good night, and good luck, everybody.